Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you today. Welcome along to my channel. I'm starting a new little series where I'm calling it three old and three new. So I'm going to take three old products from my stash and I'm going to team them with three new products because as scrapbookers we all know that we enjoy sometimes, well this is me anyway, I enjoy the purchasing of scrapbook products. <laughs> quite as much as I enjoy using them. So in order to um, get some stash busting happening, I am going to uh, hopefully inspire you with these videos, but also um, get through some of my stash. So I seriously adored this um, Paper Rose Rainbow Twirl um, collection of paper. I think it's really up my alley. I um, thoroughly enjoyed uh, picking through it and the, the die cut florals that were in there as well. So I decided that that's what I'm going to start with for my three new. I've also pulled a six by six paper pad from my stash. And then I've got this little box where I kind of keep um, embellishments that maybe get auditioned for a page but don't necessarily make it onto the page and rather than put them away I just on my desk have this little box where I throw them and um, you know one day I might just take that box and pull something out of it and that's today so I have pulled some embellishments you can see there I've got some butterflies that I previously die cut I've got a little piece of um, sorry, not die cut, some butterflies that I fussy cut and then a little piece of a die cut as well. Um, yeah, a couple of wood veneers. Uh, I've also pulled out the gold lunar paste um, that I had purchased. I'd saw it in somebody else's video. I think it was a crazy craft obsession video um, that they used that lunar paste. So I definitely wanted to have a bit of a play with that as well. So starting with a 9 by 12 background, I am a bit of a sucker for a wood um, sort of paper and when this was wood and rainbow I knew straight away that I wanted to create with it. So I um, trimmed that down to form the background and then I pulled out this quite bright um, diagonal stripe paper patterned paper and I honestly didn't have anything in mind when I sat down to create for this layout and I think that's probably one of the best ways that I can be creative um, you know there's no uh, pressure to to use a product or to use anything that I might have um, there to promote for a design team or anything like that it really is just about the enjoyment of creating so I ended up I tore some um, paper that that uh, rainbow diagonal actually on the diagonal and then started it from top left to bottom right and I actually really love how that's come together I think that makes for a really interesting background I'm using the black uh, 12 by 12 cardstock to uh, mount my photo. When you have quite a busy background going on, in this case I have, you know, rainbow wood, rainbow stripes, quite bright. I didn't want to overwhelm um, my photo and I didn't want it to get lost in that background. So I'm going to go with um, the, the black mounting on the photo. This is actually a photo from my boy's birthday as they were opening up their birthday gift. So uh, quite a cute little um, photo and I love having these little embellishments around the outside. Some super sweet uh, pre-cut florals from Paper Rose, love those. And uh, because I've got those two areas of interest in the top left and bottom right, this becomes really easy to sort of um, add uh, extra elements and really get creative. So the gold sparkly shine is also a stash item. Um, these gold heart puffy stickers are a new item. So a few different bits and pieces there in order to, um, yeah, really focus on uh, ba busting some stash. I am also going to um, create a little bit of a border. I do like a border on my pages. I think it just helps to finish it a little bit. So I'm going to use my um, granite uh, graphite pencil, sorry, graphite crayon. And essentially what this does is you put it on dry and then activate it with a little bit of water. So you can see I'm just sort of darkening up the edges of that rainbow. Just I find borders on my pages quite helpful in order to actually um, sort of finish them and, and and bring your eye more to the center. 
it's just a personal preference. It's not necessary to always put a border on, but I feel like my layouts are a little bit more finessed and finished when they have a border. Now, as I think about this, I am struggling a little bit because one of my three new items was going to be the Lunar Paste, but I haven't actually used it and I still haven't decided what I want to do with it. Do I want to actually, um, you know, stencil some paste into the background? Uh, I don't want to cover up any of what I've got going on here. I really love that um, diagonal paper and, and the, the little clusters with the florals and little pops of everything. So... I decide that I'm actually going to use the uh, gold paste like as a border and I'm just using a spatula and adding a little bit of paste and going over the top. So this is purely just adding that little bit of shimmer um, around the outside and because it's over the black it really gives this nice contrast and you know there's a nice neat black um, border outline on the page and then you've got this sort of messy sort of grungy um, pop of gold there as well. So I do like how this turned up out and um, definitely loving these papers. I'm hoping that I'm going to get a chance to do a few more of these three new, three old stash busting videos and pop them up onto YouTube to inspire us all to bust into that stash and uh, get some um, projects done. So I'm going to add um, those puffy stickers. Now uh, I don't rely on the adhesive. I like to make sure I just pop a little bit of tacky glue down there as well and that just keeps everything stuck in place long term. Okay, that's my video for today. Please leave me some comments if you enjoyed the three old and three new stash busting. Always like to read the comments. I hope that you enjoyed and if you are not already a subscriber to my channel, please think about hitting that little button. So thanks for watching.